Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand how to create the UI for the sign up page. But before getting started, if you like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So in the previous video, what we did was we create we had this URL, we created this portal, we had this portal actually. We enabled the sign up page and as soon as now if user is going to click on the sign up page, they are going to get redirected to this community self registration page. But instead of that, what I want is they should get redirected to the standard uh, LW, the LWC component that we are going to create. But in this video, we are going to mainly focus on creating the just UI of this uh, community page or the sign up page. So let's move to the lightning studio. Now here I'm going to create one lightning web component. So create a new component. I'm going to name it as sign up page and it would be easy exposed included CSS including SVG. I wish there was a way to do everything enabled at one go itself. I'm going to deploy it. Okay, so our LWC sign up page is created. Now, in this sign up page, what is most important thing is okay, if you have watched my previous video, in order to create a customer community user, okay, sign up is nothing but what we are doing. We are creating a user at the backend, right? If you're doing that, the few things that we need to take care of is that how it works. Okay, first we create an account. Okay, from that account, we create a contact. And inside that contact, there is an enable customer user button, right? If you remember from the previous few videos. Uh, so there was an enable customer user button. If you click on it, what usually happens is user gets created. Okay. So uh, account is getting created, then contact, you click on this button and then the user gets created. So this is what happens at the back end. And the same thing we have to do it using code. Now three, one of the most important thing while creating an account or contact or even the user is first name last name and email okay these three things are the most important thing along with that i'm also going to add the phone number inside our page so i'm going to quickly create three lightning input pages but uh, uh, four lightning input uh, input icons second third fourth so first one is for first name itself Next one is for last name. And next one is for email. And last one is nothing but the phone number. And we are going to create a button named as sign up. Okay, the name of this button would be sign up, and I am going to name it as rather than base, I am going to name it as a, a brand. Right on handle click instead of on handle click, I am going to name it as handle sign up okay as soon as user is going to click on the handle sign up they are going to actually getting get signed up okay so our method is ready everything is ready we have created the page the ui is also ready okay but uh, the ui is not looking that good i am going to add it inside the lightning card Okay, now it might look a bit good. I'll remove this icon name and hello. Okay, fine. Let's look how our UI, our uh, sign up page is looking like right now. Let's go to the edit page. We are going to add it to the community instead of over here. But right now I'm just checking how it looks like. So lightning card sign up page, right?
okay it's on user page so i'm going to add it okay i don't need to add it on the user page Okay, I think so. It's on the user page, that's why it's showing. But let's look into the UI, how it's looking like. Okay, so if you see, it's looking perfectly fine. First name, last name, email. Uh, if I just zoom in over here, if you can see, first name, last name, email, and phone, and sign up button. Okay, it looks fine. The UI is at least acceptable, we can say. It's not the best, but it's looking fine. So our UI part is ready. Okay, in the next video, what we're going to do is, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to mask the phone number just like login page right if you are going to log into any website okay when you put the password it's usually masked and then you click on the icon it starts visible it starts to get visible but as soon as you click again on the icon it gets visible invisible so the same thing we're going to do it with the phone number in the next video we're going to mask that phone number and also we are on the click of a button again it's going to get unmasked so this is what the ui of this uh the our sign up page would look like in the next video we are going to mask the phone number okay we don't want uh, the user should be or any other person roaming here by while signing up should be able to see the phone number so if you found this video helpful i request you to please subscribe to this channel